Today is your lucky day. I'm going to show you how you can take the wrist of a mere mortal, infuse it with one piece of equipment, and have the power to arm wrestle a shark riding Chuck Norris on a rhinoceros in the middle of the desert. Get ready for this. Welcome back to Self Built. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a bulletproof wrist with one piece of equipment and a cable. If you're not familiar with this, this is just a DIY loading pin. I'll leave a link in the description of how to build these. They're super cheap. You can build it from any hardware store supplies. All you need besides this is a cable attachment. You're going to be able to train your wrist in ways you haven't done before. Once you get this hooked up, I'll show you the secret hand placements that you can work 360 degrees around your wrist to just make it super strong and super stable. This is the whole setup right here. I'm just using my lower pulley. You can use high pulleys, but lower pulley I feel the best for all of the motions, so I'm not changing from top to bottom. My weight, I only have 10 pounds. You really don't need much weight. There are some secrets that you can do with this handle that can make the weight harder or easier, so I'll show you those, but 10 pounds has been great for me. Just do whatever weight works the best for you. I like to do this routine after I do an arm workout just because my wrists and forearms are already warmed up. Two of these movements I've shown in one previous video of how to build your biceps without doing curls, but there's gonna be two new ones too. You don't have to be sitting, but for me, I find it to be easiest. So I'll just grab the weight, just like you're gonna do like a hammer curl, and then I'll curl the weight up and hold it, and then all you're gonna do is twist, so you're gonna be doing some rotation. This is the first exercise that really helps focus on that peak muscle, this is an exercise I doubt you'll see at pretty much any commercial gym, unless it's like an arm wrestling gym or something like that. I don't think you'll. This is really gonna help you focus on turning your wrist to supination. And as you can tell, it moves the bicep like crazy because the bicep has two different functions. First one is to curl. The other one is to turn your wrist in. So this will also help build your biceps. I mean, who doesn't want bigger guns? So I'll do this. I like to do somewhere between 10 to 20 reps. I like to do it nice and controlled. With this, this does like to sometimes move around a little bit, so just depending on how you have this adjusted, it won't uh, slip or anything like that. But all you gotta do is just turn like this. Second exercise, you're gonna flip your hand around. What? And sometimes I'll kind of change my positioning with whatever grip that I'm doing. So I'll hold it like this, and then you're just gonna turn your hand down. This is gonna do the exact opposite motion. And just kinda of feel it out and see what feels good. Right here, feels really good. I'm not sure if it's just me. When I was a kid, I broke this wrist. So sometimes certain curls can not feel very good. So you might be able to be in this position, but just make it work for you. So you're just gonna rotate. Just really helps helps you turn those doorknobs really good. Unless you're like an arm wrestler or a mechanic, you're not gonna be naturally very strong in this motion. You might be a professional door opener though, so that might be something. So same thing, 10 to 20 reps. And then here's the two bonus ones that you haven't seen yet. This might be kind of niche for some people, like you see strong men do like the sledgehammer holds where they're letting it lower down. They just like to show how incredibly strong their grip wrists and forearms are. So I'll hold it like I'm doing a hammer curl and then I'll just rotate my thumb up towards me. Just like this, nice and easy. This one's a lot easier than doing the rotations, at least for me. But yeah, this is quite a strong motion. So you could do more weight or if you wanna do the same weight, whoop, just move your hand down and it's gonna be a lot leverage against you. So you can easily yeah, this is way harder. Just moving your hand down, what, two inches? So that way you can keep the same weight, get a good rhythm going on, and a quick, easy workout. Typically I'll do one exercise, bounce back and forth until I only do like two or three sets, and then I'll move to the next exercise, and with you not having to move the weight, it makes it go by pretty quick. Now we got the last and final one. You may have guessed already, but it's gonna be the exact opposite of what we just did. This one, I'm gonna guess that you're gonna be most likely the strongest in, and I'll, you can, I mean, it doesn't matter if your arm's straight or not, but just find somewhere that's comfortable, and you'll just push your thumb away and your pinky towards you. This is really gonna help you swing those hammers, so if you're like a framer, you're gonna be really good at this motion. And if it's too easy, 
as before, whoop, we'll go right here. Not bad at all. And I've been doing this for about a month or so. It's actually been a lot of fun because this is stuff that I don't really train very often and I love to do something different that's challenging. So I want to work up to doing more weight, but I'm not gonna go up to more weight until I'm right here. And as you can tell, I've got a ways to go. So this is just kind of a fun way to really get super strong, stable wrists, good grip, and forearms too. I'm hoping that I get some really crazy forearm muscles going on after this thing. If you do something similar like I did, just go back and forth, boom, 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 two, three sets, you can get this knocked out in like five minutes. Really quick and easy, a really nice finisher. If you ever get in a purple Nerf War, you're, they're gonna be in trouble. I don't know if people even know what that is anymore, but they're gonna be glad they don't. And that is the end of this video. Short and sweet, to the point, just the way I like it. Let me know what your thoughts are on that type of training. I can guarantee most of you have probably never done any of that stuff. I know I haven't, and I haven't seen people do that. So give it a whirl, see what you think, and let me know. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. I love to read and reply to all of you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to watch one of these videos over here. For some reason, I'm having trouble getting these bloops up here. So I'll get them up eventually if they're not there already. For more awesome game training tactics and tricks, don't forget to tune in to myself.